Have you ever stood on a sandy beach, gazing out at the vast sea, or at the edge of a high hill, and wondered, where does the horizon end? How far can my eyes see those disappearing boats? It's one of those questions that sparks curiosity in everyone. But before we get into math, let's understand what the horizon is. The horizon is the line where the Earth's surface seems to meet the sky. But here's the catch. The Earth isn't flat. It's a giant sphere. Sorry, flat earthers. So, what you're seeing is actually the curved edge of the Earth. And that's why the horizon appears where it does. The distance to this line depends on how high you are above the ground. The higher you go, the farther you can see. Imagine the Earth as a giant ball. If you were standing on the surface of this ball, your eyes would form a straight line pointing outward. This line eventually meets the curved surface of the ball, creating what we call the horizon. To calculate how far this point is from where you're standing, we'll need to think about this triangle, whose one side is the straight line from your eyes to the horizon. Another side is this one, which is equal to Earth's radius, plus this height. Now this can be anything on the surface of the Earth. If you are standing on a sandy beach, gazing out at the vast sea, then this height will be your actual height. And if you are at the edge of a high hill, then this height will be the same as the height of the hill, plus your actual height. And the third side is this one, which is simply the Earth's radius, because the horizon is on the Earth's surface. Since this is the tangent line and this is the radius, therefore this angle will be the right angle. Now, to solve this problem, we need two important measurements. The radius of the Earth and your height above the ground, as explained before. Scientists have already measured the Earth's radius to be about 6,378 kilometers. Now, if you're standing at sea level, your height might be around 6 feet or nearly 1.8 meters. Thus, we can simply use the Pythagoras theorem to solve for this length. Label this as h for horizon. Let us label the radius of the Earth as r and our height as l. So, we get h square plus r square equals r plus l whole square. Expanding this gives us r square plus 2rl plus l square. r square gets canceled out. And after taking l as common here, we are left with l times 2r plus l. That is simply amazing. So we have h equals the square root of l times 2r plus l. Let us substitute the values of r and l to get h as nearly 4.8 kilometers. So, if you're standing at sea level, the horizon is about 4.8 kilometers away. This is mind-blowing, isn't it? Now, what happens if you go higher? Assume if you're on a hill or a tall building, this L will be greater. Let's say you're standing on a hill that is 100 meters high, including your height. Now, when we substitute the values of R and L, we get H as nearly 35.7 kilometers which is about the distance between two small towns or across a large part of a city. That's a big difference. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the pinned comment. So good.